Welcome back to World History. I'm Mr. McCall. Today what we're going to be working on is we are going to try to analyze artifacts from ancient Sumer and we're going to explain how they are examples of the characteristics of civilization. We're going to act like archaeologists. We're going to discover these artifacts. We're going to look at them and we're going to determine whether the civilization, excuse me, the society that created it, we're going to decide whether it was civilized. Was that society civilized? Well, these are the requirements. This is what they have to have to be a civilization. First and foremost, it's the society's got to have a stable food supply. If people are starving and can't survive, that's not a civilization. Social structure. Got to have social structure. That's levels of society with different jobs. So up here you might have your king and down here you might have your peasant. And then there's levels in between. Maybe a, a scribe is here and maybe your government officials right here. So that is social structure. All right. Now government is just, is the society orderly? If you remember to when we discussed the irrigation systems and how if there were no government, there would be people arguing about uh, who destroyed the trenches and who was going to fix it. Uh, well, the government makes sure things run orderly. Next up is religion. Religion is a system of beliefs, a set of beliefs, and various forms of worship. Next up is arts. I think that's pretty clear. Technology, we've already discussed with our vocabulary, is any tool that helps you get the job done. And writing is uh, just a developed form of the written language. So let's take a look at some artifacts and let's determine whether they fit each of these characteristics. All right, so here we have a clay tablet. Archaeologist notes say, on this clay tablet, scribes from Temple of Ba recorded the amount of barley, a grain, that workers and their families will receive from the government. A lot of stuff there. All right, so let's take a look. First things first. Let's take a look at stable food supply. Sounds like it, yeah. Because they are the uh, scribes were keeping track of how much food was being dispersed, handed out. Uh, it sounds like social structure. Somebody's got the job of a scribe, and somebody else is uh, a worker, and it sounds like there's a government also. So that covers all of those. Religion? Didn't hear anything about religion. Arts? Didn't hear anything about arts. Technology? Definitely. Uh, the cuneiform in itself is a technology that helped them get the job done. And writing? You bet. That's what it is. All right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, we have married couple. Archaeologist notes says, this small statue of a married couple was found in the rubble of a religious shrine. The original statue had eyes made of shells and semi-precious stone. It may have been left at the shrine as a gift to the gods. Doesn't say anything about food supply. Social structure? No, not really. Government? Nope. Religion? Definitely. Arts? Yep. Technology? Not really. Um, there's not really any, any job here. It's, I'm going to put it a dot because I, I could I could understand it because they are using something for these sculptures so I can understand uh, using a technology there you're free to disagree with me on uh, which of these they represent uh, this is part of examining artifacts sometimes archaeologists agree on the conclusion sometimes they don't all right so here we have seal with two gods there's a hint Archaeologist note says this impression was made from a stone seal. It shows two gods. One god has a hand in the shape of a scorpion, 
The other god is using a plow. All right. It's pretty intense. Stable food supply. Well, they're talking about a plow. And a plow is used to turn the land to, to make more productive land. So I can understand that. Uh, social structure doesn't really say anything. Government doesn't say anything. Religion, definitely. They're talking about gods. Art looks, looks like art. Um, as far as technology, yes, and I'm saying that because of the stone seal. I'll show you soon what a stone seal is, but I think it's actually a pretty uh, interesting technological advance from the Sumerians. And then writing, that's what we have right here. So this one covered quite a few. Next up, we have the seal of king. Archaeologist notes, this clay seal shows King Ur-Namu, seated, appointing Hashamr as one of his governors. The cuneiform inscription on the seal says, Ur-Namu, the mighty hero, king of Ur, Hashamr, the governor of Ishkan Sin, his servant. This cylinder seal was rolled across a slab of clay to create the scene shown above. So they have these little cylinder seals. They have clay and then they just kind of roll it across. I think it's pretty interesting. So that way they can make many copies of this using this original. All right, so stable food supply, nothing. Social structure, yes, we've got a governor and a king. So that's two different levels. That's definitely government if there's a king. Uh, religion, Doesn't say anything. Arts, definitely. I think it's cool. Uh, technology, definitely. That cylinder seal, I, I think it's very interesting. And writing, we see some cuneiform over here. Very good. We're on a roll. Keep it going. Chariot. Archaeologist notes, this small copper statue shows a Sumerian chariot pulled by four donkeys. This kind of chariot may have been used by a Sumerian soldier. Stable food supply? No. Social structure? I don't see. I don't see any social structure there. Government? Yes, because if you have an army, chances are you have a government that's paying for that army to maintain order. Religion? I don't see anything. Art? It is art. It's a sculpture. Technology? Definitely, because they have a chariot. Writing? I don't see any. Gold cup. Very interesting gold cup. I don't know if this is a handle or a spigot. Uh, archaeologist notes, this gold cup created by Sumerian artisans may have been used at banquets. Banquets were generally held for the members of the upper classes of Sumerian society. Uh, if they're having banquets, it sounds like they have a stable food supply. Uh, social structure, definitely, because we're talking about the upper classes. That's the wealthier people. So you have the rich up here, you have the poor down here. Uh, it sounds like this is for people up here, wealthier, closer to the king or the government officials. Um, nope, nope. Mm, yeah, we could under, we, I could see this gold cup as art. Uh, technology, the fact that they're using a cup, I'm going to say is technology because a cup helps you get the job done. It helps you drink something. Writing, I don't see any. All right, we have a king with a basket. This bronze statue shows King Ernamu, popular guy, carrying a basket of bricks on his head. This is most likely a symbol for one of the king's main responsibilities to build and maintain the temples. In reality, the king would not have done the actual work himself, the inscription around the body of the statue records the restoration of the temple of Inanna, the patron god of Uruk. All right, food supply? Nope. Social structure? Yeah, you got the king. Yeah, that's government. Uh, talking about the patron god of Uruk, so that's religion. Arts? Yep, that's uh, building temples. That's technology. And they've got an inscription on the back. That's writing.
And our last one is my personal favorite. I actually saw this one in London. It's a beautiful piece of artwork. A lyre is kind of like a, a small harp, a precursor to a guitar. This one is about, uh, I'd say about two and a half, three feet big. Archaeologist notes. This lyre, a stringed musical instrument, was decorated with gold and semi-precious stones. It was found in the tomb of a Sumerian queen. Royal musicians may have played this instrument to entertain the queen and her, her court. Stable food supply? No, doesn't say anything about that. Social structure? You've got a queen, and this is very, a very decorative piece of uh, musical equipment. Uh, if there's a king and a queen, that's going to be government. Um, it doesn't say anything for religion. It definitely says something for the arts. It definitely says something for technology because that helps you entertain. As far as writing, I don't see any writing. Nope, I don't see any writing. All right, so these were artifacts, and we analyzed these artifacts to determine whether the Sumerians had a, a civilization or not. I think based off of our results, we can easily say that we covered each of these. Every single one of these boxes was checked at some point. So we can say that the ancient Sumerians had a civilization. I hope this was edifying. This is world history. I'm Mr. McCall. Take care.